Good evening and thank you for being with us on this Tuesday. I'm Leslie Adamy. Joe is off. We begin tonight with a warning from some of the Coastal Bend's top health officials as the number of coronavirus cases across our state continue to rise. Details in tonight's top story. According to this graph here, there have been already 5,000 new over 5,000 new cases of the novel coronavirus reported and 28 deaths. The number is part of a statewide 14 day average. Meanwhile, here at home, because of such an influx in coronavirus tests in Oasis County, there has been a delay on when the city county health district will release daily numbers of positive cases for the area. And the rising case is worrying some of the Coastal Bend's top health officials as our area prepares for an influx of visitors for the 4th of July holiday. There's word tonight that the virus in our area is in fact widespread with health experts warning beachgoers that yes, you can get it there too if you do not follow precautions. Our Bill Churchwell explains. People want to know, aren't they getting it from the beaches? I know for a fact the answer is yes. Folks heading to the beach or any other celebration this 4th of July are being asked to keep social distancing a top priority. This as the city experiences a spike in numbers related to COVID-19. Please, this is the message today. This is the message this week. Stay home as much as possible. Wear a mask whenever you leave your home. Health Director Annette Rodriguez seen here during a previous briefing speaking by phone with city leaders from her home during Tuesday's city council meeting. That's because she is isolating herself due to exposure with a family member who tested positive. Rodriguez is one of over 150 city employees who are taking the same precautions. Many departments have staff members that either have COVID or are impacted because of exposure. Even our own health director at this point is, is out for 14 days. Rodriguez emphasizing the virus is now widespread. That's why we say just assume when you go into a grocery store or the mall that there's other people that have it. And so what do you do to protect yourself? Right now, a person who tests positive is asked a number of questions to focus in on where they were exposed. The questions include if they have been to any big events like birthday parties or even a graduation. I've actually talked to some of these individuals that said, yes, people from San Antonio came down, but they didn't tell me that they had it until the end of the night and we had been sharing a bottle. Rodriguez says it is important for those who test positive to self quarantine for 14 days and to make sure members of their household do the same. She also says it's important for the person to notify anyone they've been in contact with. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.